So today we're going to do a lot of things. We're going to integrate Bitbucket with our Terraform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pipeline which checks in the code, downloads the code, runs the code, makes an EC2 instance, runs the code in the EC2 instance, installs Apache, and then starts Apache, and then we get to see the web page live. So this is all going to be done by a pipeline, and we don't have to do anything so manually. So let's go ahead. So first, you have to have a Bitbucket account, which I'm pretty sure that you can just get it for free. So once you've created an account on bigbucket.org, you get to the screen. And what you're going to do is your first thing would be to create a repository. So once you click on create a repository, you can give it a name. And then what we're going to do is we already have a project here. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this code into that repository. So how are we going to do that? We, we all know Git, right? So we're just going to do Git in it. And that's how you get all the Git uh, files into your current folder. And then what we're going to do is git add dot, which will add all your files that you've created for the CICD pipeline. So before that, before pushing it, let me go ahead and create some files that we're going to be using. So first of all, we already know the main.tf. We had this main.tf with us from a long time. We have created EC2 instance with it, and it was successful. So uh, we already have this main.tf. There is only going to be some changes here, and it's going to be about the access keys. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the variables this time. We're going to add another file to our Terraform that is variables.tf. So what we're going to add is we have we, we already have this access key that we created in um, our Amazon website, right? Amazon console. So we're just going to use the access keys as a variable instead of hard coding it. So this is how you write in variables.tf. You attach the code and then the variables that you're going to access from Bitbucket. So where is this defined? We're going to define this access keys in Bitbucket repository console so that it's not hard coded anywhere else in the files. So, and now that the variables are TFS uh, defined with the variables, we're going to use these variables in our provider instead of using this file. We remember we had this file before and we put the credential hard coded in this file in local. We're not going to do that. We're going to hard code it in Bitbucket, which is not actually hard coding. It's like uh, it's a very secret place, and we're not going to use this profile. So what we're going to use is we're going to use this access key and the variable dot AWS access key ID, which makes it uh, understandable that it has to go to the variables dot TF and and get the variable. Same with secret. Okay. Now let's go to the Bitbucket console and then define this variables where we're going to define. So I'm going to tell you, we go here, we go into the repository, we go in repository settings, and then we go to repository variables. And here you can, uh, you can assign your access key and the value to it, secret and the value to it. So now whenever you run a pipeline under this repository, it will know what variables it needs and it will fetch it from here. You can attach many more variables in this um, page. So now we're gonna, let's see what else we need to push. Now the best file that we need is this bitbucket pipelines.yaml which tells bitbucket what to be run in that pipeline. So we all know that there are like many phases in a pipeline, there's test phase, scan phase, staging phase, deployment phase, production phase. So what, what we're gonna do is the basic one is the test phase. So what we can do is we can either go here uh, and it, go, it makes us like create a pipeline. And then what you can do is it gives you a basic pipeline code that is uh, that we can run. But I just uh, copy pasted this pipeline for security scan. 
And if you don't want this, it's okay, but I like to scan my code. So our actual main Terraform code starts from here. So what we do is we're going to define the branches. So our branch is going to be master because we, we're going to push this code as a master. We don't have any other branch. And then our step is let's just go to deploy to staging but because we're not going to do in production. So name is deploying to staging. Deployment will be staging and trigger is manual because we don't want that it could get automatically deployed right we want a manual intervention okay i'm i'm all okay with this and now i'm gonna say yes to it so it's gonna export the same variables that we defined in the variables.tf and main.tf and it's gonna give it to the pipeline and then again the same things in it plan auto approve that will create the ec2 instance it's not not much so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do git add dot then we're gonna do git commit i already have it so we're gonna commit this uh, because i have already pushed this so it's showing me that but that's and then you do git push origin master which will push all your code to bitbucket so once your code is pushed the repository is gonna look like this with all the files inside it let's see Okay, so these are all the files. And now the Bitbucket pipeline is there. So what, what happens now is if you go to pipeline, as soon as you push it, uh, a trigger would start the pipeline. Okay, so once the trigger is started, it would create this kind of a, a pipeline. So after the security scan, the deploying stage would not run. It would ask your permission. And then when you put, yeah, I want to deploy it. You click on it, then all these steps get run. And once, and you can actually click on it and check all the logs from here. It, it's not going to show you this secret, don't worry. So this is how a pipeline works uh, with Terraform. And let's see if it created our EC2 instance. So let me go and check under my EC2. Let's go to the instance. Let's go, yep, it's running. Let's go open address. It should show me the same code that we've been using from the last three videos. I know I need to update the code, but oh, we're learning. So your very first EC2 Terraform website. Now this is created by a pipeline. If you wanna rerun it, let's redeploy it. And what it's going to do is it's just going to create another one. So this is our manual trigger. You can remove it if you want to. You can remove it in this code by removing this trigger from manual to automatic. And it will not ask you permission. So this is how it would look like. Also, if you want to attach this in your VS code, you can see that it's showing me here what else. Like it shows me the get uh the bit bucket pipelines and it's actually pretty helpful i have actually uh attached everything to my vs code and it gives me a very good um dashboard so it, i don't even have to go to the Bitbucket um console and check it but for learning purposes i'm doing it so this is how it's done and i'm pretty sure this will run and take about like five to ten minutes and i'm sure it will come out as successful so we're not gonna wait for that i'm pretty sure it's successful because i have run it a lot of times let me show you like it's the 19th build um also there was an issue with uh for me that i wasn't able to run it via an im user but then I was able to do it later on. And uh, because there was some problem with the uh, with the roles. So what, what I did is I created the IM user again and attached only one role to it, which was EC2 full access. And that's how I was able to do it. And look at it, it's successful. So that's it. That's it for today. And we created our first Bitbucket pipeline. Thank you.